All right, so now that we're stylish, let's talk about something that's really important. And file sizes is probably one of the most important things you're going to have to worry about as a developer, beyond all the other stuff. The bigger your files, the bigger your server files are, the bigger, the longer time it takes for users to get to your page, the lower the chances are that they're going to engage with you. Especially in this day and age where there's a lot of people with mobile devices that don't have really fast internet speeds all around the world. 4G might be popular in the U.S. these days, but around the world, there's a lot of places where it's not. Internet connections are something very, very irregular. The, blow, the smaller your files are, the better chances are that more people are going to see it, the more chances are that they're going to see it faster and be engaged with it faster, and that's a really important thing to, to note. Until now, we were working with the, basically the custom build, the, the automatic download. So when we go into, again, to the homepage, if we click onto the stable release, let me just open up what file structure you would have downloaded. You're actually, and this is the files that we've been really working with, you would see that we would have our CSS files themselves. And if we look at the minified file, it would be 26 kilobytes, which seems like not too bad, right? And we could have gone then, we would then have also our custom jQuery file which would be 228 kilobytes. So overall, we already have about a 250 kilobytes easily before we did anything. Now, obviously, there was a lot of advantages because we got a lot of it, but with it, do we really need everything? In our scenario, let's say if we were done, and these are all the components that really we're going to be using with jQuery UI, wouldn't it be smarter for us to download a customized version and, and minify only that custom version? Well, jQuery UI's platform with the custom downloads exactly solved that problem. So let's just go through that process really quickly. So first of all, I'm going to toggle off all the different um, options of the components. Now, the first thing is I'm going to toggle on everything in the UI core because it's a required dependency that most of most, let me stutter a little bit more, that most functionalities just need. So we're just going to...